story mode. We're playing chapter one called The Order of the Stone. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures. On a bridge, as self-evident fact. Looks like there's an enchantment table. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes. And ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Huh? Huh? What? It's just a dumb question. Forget it. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof, mm -hmm. and if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? What? What kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know. Amateurs. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. We are not losers, Olivia. We lose all the time. It's okay. what we do. Oh, okay, that might be true. I can't remember the last time we won anything. But if that's the case, it means we win at being losers. <laughs> All right. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. What is that? Oh, oh man. You guys totally freaked out. That was my book. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That wasn't funny, Axel. I probably get good times and now I'm being punished for it. You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> He looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. 
The only thing more dangerous than putting the costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. So it looks like my stuff are in these chests. Shears, definitely taking these. Never know what I might need to shear some sheep. And there's another chest. Let's see. Hmm, flint and steel? Not too shabby. Looks like we got flint and steel. Is there any more chest? It doesn't look like it. Let's go in the trap door. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Enercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Man, we have to really try to win this year. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? My, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning. That didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. We might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing. It could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Looks like we're going to build a creeper. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team! Team! <laughs>
We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Mm. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, you've got a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. So much for losing anonymously. We're the order of the pig. <laughs> really? Is it meant to tie us to Reuben, or are you making fun of me? Okay, order of the pig. You guys are in booth five. Ah, ah, ah. Like there's a chest. Hmm. Nope. Guess we don't do anything with it. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Oh, a beacon sounds awesome. Almost as awesome as us, am I right, guys? I have no idea how we're gonna beat that. Don't leave me hanging. This would be too much for us to handle. Looks like they're making a rainbow beacon. We should probably stop staring at them. <laughs> Look. It's the Order of the Losers, again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. I'm saying he's food. Shut up. What's that? Jesse said, shut up. Do you need to hear it again? I don't know. Maybe. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's Bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Looks like not a problem. You help like these Petra tools? Came. For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. We're cool with Petra, but you need to teach your friend some manners. He's just trying to get in your head. Well, have you heard the saying, it's possible to be nice and win? <laughs> Sounds like something a loser would say. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh, the Warrior Whip. <gasps> hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Order of the Pig can't lose. Let's do it. Building the star. 
starts now. Looks like we're building a creeper. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Well, looks like we need to build the creeper. Looks like we built the creeper. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh no, Ruben's on fire! Ruben, no, come back! It was aid attack. The lava's getting closer. I'm going to build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Looks uh, like Ruben ran away. Oof. We're right behind you! Ah! Ah! 